Hey, what is going on, my friends? It's Dave Sharp. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. I'm coming to you here from my beach house. Just got done with a mastermind, and I'm sitting in the living room, and we're going to go um, uh, decompress a little bit here and have been over the last day because we had a fantastic mastermind here this weekend in Orlando, Florida. For those of you who were there, um, you know, it was magic. It was. You'll see pictures. You'll see videos coming out here over the next couple of weeks or so from that mastermind but the the content <laughs> the connection the speakers uh it was really magical it was a legendary weekend if i if i if i uh if i say so myself and i really truly hope that you can make it to the next one uh if you have that ability to because uh it really truly is a magical experience next and a valuable experience and a productive experience okay it's not just magical it's productive um th there's a lot of results that come out of people coming to our events and sitting in a room not just any room a twenty thousand square foot mansion for three days uh listening and learning and talking and sharing and getting questions answered and answering questions today's guest is nothing short of also a magic maker uh this woman has done uh, a lot to be able to get to where she's at she has she is an uh, icu maybe a nicu uh, we'll have to find out from her but she is a, at the very least an intensive care unit nurse and uh, a mother and a wife and with that being said shelby welcome to the show hi good morning did i get that right I am. I was a uh, NICU nurse, so it's neonatal, so I took care of the little babies, and then I have three toddlers now myself. Yes, I, I am very familiar with the NICU because my oldest was in the NICU for a while when he was born. And so, um, as you probably know, my father was recently in a, in a, in a, a ICU as well, so thank you so much for your service and your uh, work in that field. But now you're looking to make a change. Why? Right. Um, so basically everything that happened about a year and a half ago, um, all within about eight months, um, we just hit a rough patch. My father-in-law passed away. We, my husband's, um, back went out. He had to, um, quit work. You know, he lost his job due to be, having to go on disability. It's been almost a year later. He's still off on work. And so I was like, all right, I have to go back to being a full-time NICU nurse. Um, but then I started, I renewed all my license, started applying to jobs and it just made me sick to my stomach knowing that I would be away from my kids for 13 plus hours, um, a day. And so I was like, all right, there's gotta be a better way. Um, I kind of looked on online stuff in the fall. And then, um, really once I started like in January, like actually applying to jobs is when I was like, all right, let's really find something. And I found another nurse, Kim who was sharing about affiliate marketing. And I was like, well, this sounds like something that like I could do. And so here I am today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, your, your story is, uh, your story is inspirational because of, you know, there's a lot of people right now who are working really hard in jobs and having a job doesn't always mean that you're doing something shameful. Having a job is an honorable thing, especially, a job where you're helping people and providing a great service. The problem is in that we're seeing this across our entire community. Jobs are killing people and killing families, not physically, but emotionally, mentally. Um, is this a common thread that you see happening with lots of different uh, people, not just people? I mean, are you surprised by the reaction that you're getting from people who are also burnt out because I know you're working in the Make Money Online niche? Yeah, um, I have conversations daily with people where they're like, I at work all day, I'm missing my kids. Um, or they're like, I commute, it takes me three hours just commuting and then plus being at my eight to five. And I just feel like people are like wanting to slow down. And that was like my whole thing. It was like, I could choose to have a good career, continue in it. I loved my career, but it was gonna miss the everyday memories. I wouldn't be, you know, seeing my kids and that just, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the other interesting thing that I found, and, and I don't know that you've experienced this yet because you traveled with your husband to try to help him get some, his medical needs met. But one of the cool things about doing skills and running a business online that I experienced 
last two months with my father being in the hospital, I had the flexibility to go and see him. What sort of flexibility do you now have? To have um, <clears throat> so that's been like extremely helpful. Um, for example, just last week, we had to travel four hours to go to um, doctor's appointments for my husband. And so if I was stuck at my nursing job, it's like, I would have to figure out, okay, am I working? Can I get off work? I'm going to have to call in sick because they couldn't reschedule me. Um, so all those things, it's like being able to only work a few hours a day and I can choose some mornings I get up before my kids. Some nights I'm doing it after they're in bed. Um, so the flexibility is huge. It's, you know, life changing, I feel like in order to be able to work wherever you um, need to be. So that way you can be with your family. Yeah. So talk a, a little bit about, um, talk a little bit about your, your formula for success. Because you wrote in our questionnaire that there was really three things. The first thing that you credit your success to so far is mindset. What specifically about mindset is important in your eyes? So I feel like the first thing that everyone always says is like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, this is out of my comfort zone. You know, I'm like, it was out of my comfort zone too. I didn't have, never had a TikTok before. Last time I used um, social media was back in like 2021 and like in January. So none of that was familiar. But in my mind, I'm like, you know, if I can sacrifice being uncomfortable, learning something new in order to be with my family, it's completely worth it. And it was like, just from there, it's like, I didn't stop there. It was like being part of legendary, you grow a community and then you're around like-minded individuals. And so even there's like a group of moms that we all met through Legendary and we chat every single day in a little message and we're supporting each other. We're cheering each other on for the little wins, for the big wins. Or there's days where we're just like, oh, I don't feel like doing anything because in this career path, it's like you, you're, you're your own boss now. Someone's not going to tell you to get up in the morning and, you know, start, you know, making videos, getting out there. Um, so I think mindset is like one of the biggest challenges. Everyone, you know, when they walk into something, they're just like, I can't do it. That's their first reaction. Instead, it's got to be, I can do it. I'll find a way to do it. And I like that you're using support. Mindset, I think, is, is a supportive thing. You can get a lot from support. How did you talk to us about connecting with other people and the one that ball rolling and actually making that how did you connect with others and get the benefits of having that support together uh you know benefiting your mindset benefiting you feeling supported um so honestly it all happened um another mom in the legendary facebook group was like hey i just started um i would love to connect to other moms who are starting this and so that's how it all happened and then so now we're just supporting each other, whether it's like, hey, I just learned this new tip or I just figured out how to do this. Um, or there's days, of course, you're going to feel beat down like you're not because you're not going to see the success right away. You know, it's going to take time. And so there's going to be days where you're just like, oh, maybe I'm not right for this. I can't do this. And so with the, if you have others supporting you that are in the same field and um, are going through the same thing as you, then it's like you are encouraged and they're bringing you up and not bringing you down. Um, Cause sometimes you ourselves, like, I feel like we are hard on ourselves and we want to bring ourselves down. And so. Yeah. Well, I saw this at the mastermind this weekend where, you know, people were, you know, coming into the room for the very first time being around people who were also doing the same thing and for once actually didn't feel crazy, you know, didn't feel like they were the only ones who were doing this thing. They were like, oh yeah, yeah, you totally get it. You, there, there's, there's really a massive benefit to being connected to people who are having a similar experience or had a similar experience. Can, can you talk about the difference between what, you know, your new friends, how they can help you, support you, you know, you know, encourage your mindset whereas maybe friends and family talk to us a little bit about you know 
all the entrepreneurs that are probably in your family, right? I mean, there's a huge difference between what I call normies, you know, people who are not exposed to this information, and those of us who are. It doesn't make us better. It yeah. just makes it more fun when we can connect with people who identify. Is your is that your experience? And been with your like yeah. I'm. My husband, like when I told him about this, he was like, that's awesome. You know, I support you, like go do it. You're going to kill it. And, but he doesn't understand anything that I'm doing. He's just like, oh, she's doing some marketing thing. I don't really know what she's doing. And then same thing I told my friends, like, yeah, I'm starting this new thing. And, but then when you have others where you surround yourself who are actually doing the same exact thing that you're doing, then it's like they get it. They get the grind that you're trying to do. Like you, you're going to give up like binging Netflix and all these other extra things because if you're, you know, a mom or maybe you're working, it's like your time to create video is to, you know, before work or after work or in my situation when my kids are sleeping. Um, so they just, they can, you can connect in terms of your actual day-to-day like how you're trying to now make a new, you know, career and everything. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Let me try to come in on this other. Uh... Joey. 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 Okay. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I don't know if it will be or not, but can you still hear me, Shelby? Yes, I can. Great, great, great. Um, so the the second thing that you said was uh, you would contribute to your success. Do you remember what it was? It, it's it's a big, it's a lot of words here. I'm trying to. Um, I know I don't. Oh, you went back through the blueprints or you followed the actual instruction. I feel like there, I mean, uh, let me read it here like this is really clear and laid out and and i just want to share this with everybody because you did a, a lot of work here responding to these questions that we sent you before the interview we said what are you currently getting great results with that you'd be thrilled to talk with dave and would deliver awesome value to our listeners that's literally the question that, that we asked and you said there's several things that are making me successful first mindset i believe mindset is huge i have so many people message me on how they don't think they could do this. And right there, you're already setting yourself up for failure. I tell them I had doubts too, but I would remind myself my why. I didn't want to sacrifice time for money and miss out on everyday memories because I was stuck at my nine to five with my kids who were in daycare all day. I'll do anything for my kids. I'll give them everything I have when I think I have nothing else to give. I'll still find a way to give them more. My kids will remember how mommy was always present and we were able to go on endless amounts of adventures all because I decided to change my career path and not return to three 12 hour shifts and instead start my own online business. Um, and that's, that's powerful Shelby. Thank you for, for writing all that and anything that you want to expand on because the second one was Number two, being consistent by applying everything I learn in the blueprints and getting out there and being consistent on all three of my social media accounts. So that's the second thing is actually going into the education, going through it and actually applying what you learned. Did you have a tendency to want to get out there and not? I mean, talk to us your experience of going through the challenge and making the decision to enroll in the blueprints and sort of take this whole process a little bit more seriously by putting some skin in the game and saying, I want some accountability and some extra coaching. Um, why do you put that as the number two thing of actually going back through there and making sure that you actually go through the education that, that, that you, that you purchased? So for me, if I probably just like did the 15 day challenge, I probably just stop there. Whereas if I invest in myself and really get more education, <laughs> I knew I would actually like, I'm like, all right, I invest in this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to figure out how to do this. So even though I didn't have much time, I would put my AirPods in and just like listen to all the videos. And then if it was um, a day where you're just not having it, you know, find those motivational videos, find those mindset videos, going back to that. And then basically every day, just being consistent. Um, I actually first started on TikTok and then a few days later, I tried to do Instagram and I was kind of getting a little overwhelmed, like figuring both platforms out because I didn't use social media. 
And so I wasn't consistent on Instagram, which is kind of funny because that's the only account where I have not grown that big of a following. Whereas TikTok, and then I created a Facebook just a month ago, I have 10,000 followers in a month because mm. I was consistent. And, um, you know, using the blueprints to listen to all the videos and how others, you know, um, used the social media and tips they used and tricks and stuff like that. Um, it helped me thrive. It helped me get out there um, and, you know, just consistent, consistent. Yeah. Well, we notice a lot of people, especially, you know, we just came off of a mastermind weekend and it's amazing. You know, I don't know what it is. I'm not here to point a finger. I want to figure it out with everybody so we can all get better. But man, the amount of people who buy education and then don't go through it, it's concerning you know, and the, it's not concerning because I care or want to judge people. It's concerning because all of you are here because you want to learn a skill. And I see many of you, you know, frustrated because the results are not coming as fast as you want them to. And when we talk further, we find out, and I'm using the mastermind as an example, people come to the mastermind and many of whom have not, you know, gone through that affiliate marketing business blueprint understood, you know, dove into that, uh, that, that fishing formula section right there in the affiliate marketing business blueprint that, 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 that explains so many of the dynamics of marketing, the psychology of what we're doing here. It makes a lot of the things that you're doing wrong. You're like, oh, well, I shouldn't be, you know, flaunting the name of the product that I'm well, I, right there in that section. It explained it. And so um, I was also talking about testing and tracking. I was talking about, you know, the power of testing and, you know, looking at how many hits you're getting to a landing page, how many opt-ins you're getting, how many then affiliate link clicks you're getting, and then how many sales you're getting. It's the four simple parts of your business that you can track every day if you do an affiliate marketing. And there's a section on that. It's the testing and tracking section down past the traffic sources. And so yeah. it doesn't have to be read cover to cover, but knowing how to use our resources, knowing how to use our education, knowing how to be a great student, like to speed up the learning process is, is really important. And I just think a lot of us are so eager to put a dollar in the bank account that, you know, it's not, we're bad yeah. people. It's that we're anxious. It's that we're, you know, we just rush through it. So, yeah. um, there's there's a coming back to the principles, I think, and I hear you saying that as well. There's a learning what I'm doing, and if I learn it the first time, then I know what the heck I'm doing, right? And you had a tendency, I'm sure, to want to just get out there and yeah. and, and 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 go too, right? Yeah. yeah, that's exactly. I mean, I feel like you know, with the blueprints, the education that's in there, it's like the first couple of videos, you might just be like, this kind of feels boring. Like, where's the good stuff? Like. How do I, you know, get get those followers and stuff? It's like, no, that's that's it right there. Like they're, you know, teaching you your your leads and your hooks and how to grab others' attention um, yeah. and be able to connect. Um, that's like huge, or to be able to connect with others. Um, and I do that on a daily basis. I send them voice texts on Facebook and um, Instagram. And mm. so many people are like, oh my gosh, thank you for like sending me a voice text. Like they appreciate the connection. And I feel like, you know, it talks about that in the education, you know, just like connecting. How are you going to connect with your audience and what pain? Like, because that's what grabs their attention is the pain, their why, you know, the, your why is typically your pain, you know. Absolutely. And, and there are so many different ways to be able to do the application and, and obviously there's lots of different sections of how to drive free traffic in the blueprints, but it's also understanding the blueprint of how do I present what it is that I'm selling? How do I present myself out there on social media? And that's, that's the half the battle. It's not about setting up the funnel and then just posting videos. It's actually, how do I go about selling stuff. And uh, again, I go back to the example of not mentioning the product that you're selling. Well, how, why in the hell would that make sense? Well, it makes a whole lot of sense when you're trying to establish a relationship with somebody and you're trying to get them to know, like, and trust you. 
instead of just instead of just pitching something and them going, ah, I knew there was a catch. You know, it's it's a way to lower their buyer defenses, and we all have buyer defenses, right? It, it, what a natural buyer defense is when you see somebody, um, you know, you're walking down a mall and there's that person that comes over and they want to like clean your shoes or straighten your hair or whatever, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, and you're exactly. like, like massage tables are always out in the middle. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're kind of walking down the mall and you're just kind of like, you know, like yeah. you know, trying not to make eye contact. You know, the other, the other kind of buyer defense is when, of course, somebody comes and knocks on your door. Nowadays, that's kind of like, hey, what, yeah. what are you doing here? What are you selling? Right. Um, you know, telemarketers nowadays, it's pretty, pretty, pretty quick to put up our buyer defenses when we get a spam call. Right. Oh, yeah. to renew that up. We got to renew that auto insurance for that car that you sold 20 years ago. Um you know, and there's a lot of other things. There's a lot of other things. Uh, uh, MLM became one of those things in America that people immediately started to put their de buyer defenses up and they'd say, well, is this one of those pyramid things and all this? Because so many, because people had been doing MLM in America since the 50s and 60s. Yeah. So it's not a new thing. People are looking out for that. So, you know, we have to think about um, in any niche, if we want to get gain somebody's respect and we want to gain their trust, we got to deliver some sort of edutainment to them first, yeah. meaning either educational or entertainment. But I want to move on to the number three thing because it fits in perfectly with this, that edutainment aspect and delivering value up front before you ask for money or before you even suggest a product. Lastly, this is your no number three secret to success. Lastly, I noticed a change when I got more vulnerable and shared the exact reason why I had to find a way to make money online, how my world came crashing down in eight months. And even though life was hard, I chose not to give up, but instead put one foot in front of the other and found a new way to financially secure my family's future while not giving my time away from them. Don't be afraid to share your story and your journey. Connect with your audience. DM them to get to know each other. What were you doing before you started to do this and talk about that change? It was mainly keeping it vague. I was just like, yeah, I want to stay home with my kids. Like who wouldn't want to stay home with their kids? Um, whereas it was more than that. You know, we, we sold our house and moved halfway across the United States to go live with family. So my husband can get medical treatment. Um, so it was connecting, like saying like life is hard. You just got to put one foot in front of the other, find a new way. You can make excuses like, well, this sucks. Like, yes, I'm just going to be in this situation forever. You know, this is the new way of life when really find a new way. Find find what's going to make you happy. What's going to be able to financially secure your situation? And that's what, you know, affiliate marketing was for me. I was able to, you know, set up my own business and be able to, you know, secure our future and be able to do that with anywhere in the world, you know, anywhere with Wi-Fi. <laughs> So were you kind of being too surfacey? I mean, and think about this in any niche, right? It, this is not just does this doesn't just apply to the big money online niche. All great copywriters and marketers, the bigger and better and juicier the hook, right? The intro of the commercial or what? It, the juicier that is, meaning the more actual human context, not just like an ambiguous superficial story. But the more powerful that ad is. So that same thing applies here in our everyday advertising on social media. What were you doing before? Were you, were you, were you, were you tiptoeing? Were you talk, were you afraid? What were you afraid of? Talk to us a little bit about the mindset that you had before you began being more specific and being more, um, vulnerable as you say talk to us a little bit about so those listening can kind of relate to that and 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 you know what i mean and and maybe begin to make a transition i definitely was tiptoeing it i'm a private person i'm not typically you know i didn't use social media i wasn't posting my everyday life um and so for me if i knew so i started sharing my story to others and then that made the connection you know others are reaching out to me like oh my gosh i have the same situation you know, where I am 
our life has gotten turned around because of, you know, whatever the reason may be. And so that grew a connection right there off the bat. I've had people where um, they also lost a significant other. And anytime that happens, that typically is going to change your life significantly. Yeah. And, you know, and so the same thing happened, you know, oh my gosh, I just lost my um, father as well. Or, you know, and so you're growing, you're not even talking about like you just, you just discussed, you're not even talking about the product you're selling. You're just connecting with your, your, um, everyone out there in terms of the stories that you guys share, because for the most part, somewhere in your story, you have the same situation as someone else. Even if it's just a little bit of your story, you know, it does not going to be the whole thing because everyone has their own journey, but they have something similar. And that right there is going to grow the connection with your audience. And who should we help? Well, there was a great, a great, um, quote that was brought up this week and I think credited to Ed Milet, who's a great entrepreneur um, and, and he's got a podcast and all that kind of stuff. But he said, help the person that you used to be. Yeah. yeah help the person that you used to be, right? Well, I mean, some of you are saying, well, I'm choosing the work in the make money online niche, but well, I haven't made any money yet. Well, talk to the person who you used to be before you even knew any of the information. Talk to the person that, I mean, I'm saying if that, if you work in that niche, yeah. let's say you work in the dog training niche, talk to the person who you used to be when your dog was biting everybody and misbehaving and wouldn't listen to you. Talk to the person, if you're in the, now the, the ba getting your baby to sleep through the night niche, yeah. well, talk to the person that you used to be when you couldn't get your baby to sleep through the night. Exactly. It, it's, it's, it's really an easy equation and it's what most of us do because that's the context that we have, you know? And so if you are, if you have no expertise or no niche that you are target, you're like, yeah, that's going to be my niche. And you're coming into something like make money online, or you're coming into something like weight loss or something like that. And you're like, well, I haven't lost any weight. Well, it's not always about showcasing your results in everybody's face and saying, look at how great I am and look at how skinny I am or how rich I am. It's yeah. more compassionately yeah. edutaining people, making the education process of learning how to count calories, for example. I'm talking about something that would be so basic that all of us could go right into the weight loss niche and begin adding value to people's lives by teaching them about counting calories and counting macronutrients. It's a very yeah. simple thing that blew my mind. And I, I wish somebody would have shared it with me, whether they were fat or skinny, right? That would have been valuable to me. And so you're working in the make money, well, mom boss income. So we can kind of get an idea of some of the products. I think you said you're promoting five or six products as an affiliate right now. How did you begin to deliver value before you were getting all the big results? Um, so the value is just like, how, how is it going to change your life? You know, what is it going to do for you? And I knew what it was going to provide for me in terms of the money niche, um, financially, the flexibility, not being stuck. If you're in the weight loss niche, you know, losing the weight, is it going to be, get you more active? Maybe you, you know, need to lose the weight. So you'd be active with your kids. Um, so it's just it's really, not always really about losing hundreds of pounds, right? Sometimes yeah. it's just about getting, it's, it's, it's not about becoming a bazillionaire either, right? Exactly. It's just about getting some, I just wanted to throw that in there because not everybody has goals to become a gajillionaire. Some just have a goal to get out of debt or to earn some extra income online or to just get their heart a little bit healthier. Maybe they don't need to be Mr. Olympian, right? Yeah, exactly. Typically, I feel like the reason why you go into a niche or you start this whole affiliate marketing is you're wanting to live a more happier, comfortable life. You're just wanting to, you know, be able to provide more, be able to enjoy the things that you want to do every single day. Um, yeah. Here's another thing that I want to th I want to throw out to everybody. Big old platinum value nugget right here is the the largest part of a niche is always going to be the beginners. This is a huge platinum nugget. I mean, this is more valuable than gold because why does that matter? Because if I'm 
I don't need to talk about making millions. I don't need to talk about losing hundreds of pounds and becoming Mr. Olympian because the beginner who just wants to get started on their health journey is not even remotely close to that. They're just simply trying to find the motivation to pick up an exercise equipment or go on a walk. In in the case of people who want to earn money online, you don't need to show millions of dollars. I used to generate five leads and I would turn around and share that result and say, Hey, I I was in the network marketing niche. So I was talking to people chasing friends and family around in their warm market all day long. And I would go, you know, on my social media channels back then it was YouTube and Facebook and, and in my email list. And I would say, Hey, I generated five hot quality leads yesterday. People who wanted to talk to me, not who only I wanted to talk to them. Right. Which is how it usually is. So how would you like to learn how I did it, how I generate? Well, if you would, then click the link in this email and head on over and I'll show you the course that I took that taught me how to do it. Bada boom, bada bang. It's a, such a very simple thing. I don't have to say, hey, look, I made $5 million yesterday on the internet. You know, go that it it's it's sometimes we're getting people who are skeptical and people are saying that sounds too good to be true because we are presenting a result to a beginner that is so far down the path from them that it's either overwhelming or sounds too good to be true. What comes up for you as I say that? I mean, I, you, I mean, I, when I first thought I was like, is this a scam? And you almost get that daily, like, is this a scam? Like, is this really true? And I'm like, well, think about it. Like, have you ever followed anyone on social media and bought something from them? Like that right there is affiliate marketing, you know? And they're like, oh yeah, I've done that. I'm like, yeah, so did I, you know, you know, light bulb went off. Like, oh yeah, I use people's links all the time to buy stuff. Um, And so now it's just like, all right, there you go. If you learn how to apply, you know, the set proven, you know, system in terms of like these exact steps, like you will be successful as well. You're going to be able to get out there and be using your link for whatever you're promoting. Um, You know, oftentimes I get like, what's another good niche or how, how do you go about it? And I'm like, well, right now I'm just in the money niche, you know, but parenting is my life right now. I was like, maybe soon I'm going to be in the parenting niche. I wouldn't mind doing, you know, a home birth course or a breastfeeding course. Those are all things I did as like, you know, a nurse. Um, so it's like, find something that you're um, connected with and, you know, passionate about because it's just going to make it easier to connect with your audience. I love that. I love that. And yeah, I mean, you're talking about something right there that is is such a simple, clear example to me and to everybody you probably say it to because it's like, yeah, man, I, I, I'd like people to be clicking my links and me to get a commission from it. Uh, that makes sense to me, you know, and I'm not even th- you didn't even mention a million dollars. You didn't mention a mansion. You didn't mention a Lambert. You just mentioned Hey, have you ever clicked somebody's link on social media and bought something? Well, they probably got a commission for that. And I don't know whether they're getting rich from it or not, but it's it's kind of cool, right? If you're going to already be on social media, why not be earning some extra income? Why not have a strategy that you can do in between scrolling and looking at cute cat pictures? That sort of thing makes sense to people. And then the wonderful examples you gave of the breastfeeding course and the, um, the home birthing course. Wow. How many women right now in 2023, you think, well, as a matter of fact, my wife who's sitting here next to me over on the couch, having her cup of coffee, did a natural birth, not a home birth, but a natural birth. Um, It's a popular thing. It's a very popular thing. And you just mentioned two things that would be very, I think, appealing to a lot of, a lot of women and a lot of couples out there, just throwing out those two examples. And they're based off experiences that you had, you know, uh, knowledge that you have. And I just I just would invite all of you to spray a little WD-40 up in the old up in the old (laughs) cranium up there and get the wheels turning. Think a little bit about, you know, either what she just said, the examples that she gave or what you may could give that what you could use as talking points. I said at the mastermind this this weekend, I said, 
you know, have your bits sort of like a comedian or whatever would have his bits that he could always go to. It's like, what are your things, your story or whatever story you use to in that niche, right? That should be things that you repeat almost daily. Yeah. If you're not telling your story or stories daily. Also, the other little analogies and little kind of examples that you give is all you need is three to five. You know, and you can just kind of tell those differently and tell them over and over again. I try to tell people, Shelby, there's not a lot of things that you have to learn here. You just have to, you know, you have to you have to get a few things right. You know, you have to just get a few things right. In the case of creating content, it's really just a few bits. You know, don't you always get the same object? When I say bits, I mean kind of stories or analogies that you can tell that would help the average person understand what it is the hell that you're talking about. Because if, for example, you're like me and you're talking about making money online and you're talking about all this stuff, they they, they don't get that. But yeah. when I say, hey, look, um, OK, you know, and I give them an analogy like like even the blueprint analogy. Well, you can learn how to swing a hammer. You can learn how to read a blueprint and have a blueprint. And I promise it'll be more productive and you'll make more money if you just know how to, if you know how to read a blueprint than just hit a a nail with a hammer. Um, So what are some of the common objections that you get on a daily basis? There's only got to be probably only three to five, right? I wouldn't think that there's that many more. But have you developed some common responses to some of these once very scary questions that you didn't know how to answer that now is very natural to you? Yeah, I mean, typically, like in the money niche, you know, when people start seeing your videos, they start seeing a whole bunch of other people's videos similar to it because that's how the algorithms work. So you get a lot of like, is this all people do? And I'm like, no, there's plenty of other ways you can be affiliate for. This is just the niche I'm in. If I create a different niche, you're not even going to see that on your feed because that's not what you're looking up. And so I have even sent over examples of like parenthood niches because that's one that I'm considering on doing next is like, here's an example. I love following this mom. Like go check it out. If you click on her link, you're going to see the same exact system that I have set up. And so then they're able to connect and be like, oh, you're right. Like they are using the same exact way you are just in a completely different niche. It's like, keep it simple. Like it sh- sometimes a lot of people are visual, you know, and visual learners. So keep it simple. Show them something. Show them an exact example. Shelby, you're, that's smart. That's really smart. I mean, ever, all of you who are wondering, how can I go live? What can I talk about? Right. She yeah. just get handed you a platinum nugget on a silver platter, actually a platinum nugget on a platinum platter. Now that that's the next level of value right there. And it's just very simply that if you're on a live and you're in the in the make money online niche or the money niche and people are questioning your strategies, you just simply show them how those strategies are being used in different niches by very simply pulling up other marketers other creators or influencers, whatever you want to call them, and actually pulling up their pages and showing that they're using similar processes, a a landing page, you know, a bridge page or a sales page. And you're like, Hey, look, this is the, 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 it's almost a, you know, it's almost a plug and play process. Once you learn what the blueprint is, you can plug it in to any niche and any product. Shelby, that's, Exactly. I mean, it's, most people like you got to remember, like, did you know what a funnel was? Did you know how to set up a website or automated emails? And so it's like if you just share with others, you know, like, look, check this out. First thing they're going to ask you for is your email address right there. They're, you're in their email system. They're able to promote more things. You know, you're not just going to stop promoting one product on your social media. Like, check it out. If you sign up, you're going to get in other links as well through their email. And so they're able to connect and be able to see like, oh, OK, there's several ways I can go about this. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I, oh man. Um, I mean, that really is just something that makes way too much sense. And it's such a great way to teach people, uh, you know, to give people little, you know, little snippets because that's what they need. 
Uh, they need to, to, to understand it in um, very simple terms, not long explanations, but, but hey, look, look, here's the process being used in multiple different niches. So how are you, um, how are you getting content out there right now? Are you mostly doing, are you mostly favoring TikTok or Instagram? And what sorts of content and what sorts of delivery are you going live? Talk to us a little bit about your platinum or your platform preferences and then your content preferences. So um, started off with TikTok, went strong on over there. Um, and I was creating only on TikTok. And then I started posting stuff on Instagram. Um, and I have, um, and then I started with Facebook. Now I'm redirecting everyone to Instagram for two reasons. One is the least amount of followers over there. And I also have found that's the platform I can connect easier with um, because you're able to categorize your DMs in terms of like there's a primary in general. Messages aren't getting lost. Um, so I like the connection better over on Instagram. So basically, um, I try and get people like, Hey, if you want to talk more, like I can send voice texts, I can send videos, I can send pictures. You can do all that over there. And so that's just another way you're connecting, you're connecting, um, going back to that. And so typically I'll do that in terms of content. I do a variety. I try to talk, I try to do quick videos, um, just being able to connect to the audience. Sometimes it's showing other examples of like, you know, getting your, um, uh, because a lot of people, like when I started looking at ways to make money online, I wasn't thinking of affiliate marketing. So showing other examples of videos of how you can make money online. And then, you know, then they'll start seeing more of your other videos. So you also have to do a variety of videos, not just something um, pertaining exactly what you're selling. You know, if you're in the um, health niche, maybe you're selling like a weight training program, but you're going to be sharing about like your favorite shape or your favorite recipes, you know, to draw people's attention. Yeah. So just figuring out how to like draw attention as well. I, I, uh, I, you know, I heard, I heard old Frankie Kern say this and, you know, uh, got to give, got to give credit where credit's due. He said, show people where that you can help them by actually helping them. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple, but it, it's really, it's really, it really makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Because, I mean, nowadays there's too many options for you to just say, "I promise you can, I'll, I can help you after you buy. Yeah. I'll help you after you buy." There's too many other options out in the world in any niche in any product that you're. There's just too many. There's too many options. People can go and get free information or you have to be handing out and giving out free information. It literally is the free bourbon chicken on a skewer that they're handing out in the mall, right? That is your free piece of bourbon chicken that you're handing out. You have, and how many times have you walked through the mall and took that damn toothpick and said, golly, that's pretty good. I'd like a, I'd like a play to that. I know I have, maybe I'm the only one, but they don't stand out there in every mall across America, handing out little toothpicks of bourbon chicken and everything else probably that's in the mall because it doesn't work, my friends. And I'm just using an analogy. Well, what's coming up for you? Well, yeah, I mean, that's exactly like in terms of, you know, going back to like, you're not trying to always sell. Like the first thing I tell them, like, go check out my free, you know, ebook and the video for my mentor that taught me everything. And then come back, let me know what questions you have or help or support. Like, like I don't just say questions. I say, what help and support can I do? Like, you know, it's going to open up when they start looking into this, it's going to open up their mind to all sorts of different things. So it's like, they want to be able to connect to you. They want to, you know, they want your help. They want your support, not just like, give me, you know, this question and here's the copy paste example I have, like, like get in debt, you know, provide them what they need, you know, help. For sure. I mean, and that, and that's how we're uh, attracting people on social media in the first place is we're presenting ourselves as normal people. <clears throat> you know, I mean, we're not presenting ourselves as a business. Yeah. When somebody pulls up on our TikTok video, they don't think I'm driving through McDonald's right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, they, they think they're, you know, they're not pulling up to buy something. You know, they went on social media to us, whatever. 
escape their a moment, get scroll, whatever we, we call it. I, I don't I don't really care at this point. It's we're all doing it, so it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we're all doing it, so I mean, uh, I I don't really know what we're doing, but you know we're doing it, and because we're doing it, it's 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 it makes a lot of money. There's a lot of opportunity on this damn thing because we're all on it all the time. Yeah, but we don't people don't pull up on us and are like hey there's the ceo of you know whatever you know they're like hey here's a person you know just on their phone or create you know the, people aren't even thinking about why people are creating videos like we don't ask questions human beings like we we don't we don't like we get enamored with actors and actually think they're like superhuman and then when we see them we're like ah but they're just a person doing an act on a on a camera exactly. you know so people are pulling up to us on the internet. They're not pulling up to a drive through They're not pulling up to a store, you know? So they are, if we present as normal people and we present as, hey, let, you know, let me help you or whatever, then it, it does help to figure out ways to connect. Now, many of you are DMing quite a bit, taking messages. Some of you are going live and trying to kind of field questions more in a live setting. <clears throat> One way is not more right than the other, but it is about connecting because that's how we've presented ourselves a lot of times in the first place is as a normal, regular person. So there, it only makes sense that they're looking to connect like that, right? Yeah. They, they just want to make sure that you're human too, you know, that it's not just some robot behind this machine. I mean, that's why with some of my content, I just do fun, random stuff, you know, people are like, why are you doing that? I'm like, just to be silly, I used a spider once as my pointer <laughs> and it attracted like a fake one, it wasn't a real one. But people were like, why are you using a spider? I'm like, life is short, like don't take it too serious. Like just using something random that was next to me. And you know, it got drew so much attention and had so many conversations. So just using the variety of, you know, random stuff just to be able to connect, get those conversations started. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful process that works. And, you know, nobody says that you have to use social media to make money with. But I mean, if you're here, you're listening to this live or, you know, then there's probably a there's probably a desire in you to want to do that. And you got to put yourself in the consumer or the customer's shoes. You know, it was and, and maybe we think about ourselves just a few months ago or whatever, if you were just kind of scrolling, you know, they, they didn't come on. Nobody wakes up and says, I'm going to go buy a, a course today from somebody who's an affiliate marketer online. You know, nobody wakes up and says that, you know, they wake up, they roll over, they grab their phone. You know what I mean? They're just like scrolling and it's like, oh, wow, I. I like what this person has to say, or that was valuable. And then you go from there. But it's like, if you present as a normal person and then all of a sudden get weird at some, or like change the whole, it comes down to one word, congruency. And we've all, we always talk about this on pages, like affiliate marketing, landing pages. You want to have some congruency with whatever product it is you're promoting, because otherwise if your landing page looks totally different than the sales page, or it's talking about somebody to something totally different, your bridge yeah. page, you know, your landing page and your thank you page look totally different than whatever product it is you're promoting. There's no congruency there. And a lot of times the visitor, you know, the cut, the potential customer might get lost or feel like, Ooh, I clicked. Why am I here now? Yeah. But we want that same congruent experience also in the marketing at the beginning you know, if we come off as a normal person and we come off as having this specific lifestyle, well, they're they're wondering if that's really true. So if we send them a message and it's like some corporate response, then they're going to go, ah, I knew it was a, some yeah. sort of a scammer behind, you know, I think people nowadays are really just wondering, is this person really the person that they say they are? Or are they hired by a big corporation <laughs> to like? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, there's just so many scammers out there. So that's everyone's first reaction. Well, now, uh, yeah, scammers and people who, you know, are not who they say they are. Maybe they work for a big company or something. I don't know. People are just trying to figure this internet thing out. 
no, we, it's a lot of, it is new for all of us over the pandemic. A lot of people went on TikTok and social media that were not on it before. And so I think we just have to remember that it's new for a lot of people. It, it's, yeah. this is not, I mean, it's new for you and it's new for them. And so kind of if, if they're going to buy a course and make a big decision, like honoring that, being as supportive as possible, being as patient as possible, being as compassionate as possible, making yourself available, but not making yourself too available. How do you have boundaries? We'll wrap up in the last five minutes with how have you actually had boundaries and created the space for you to be able to work? First of all, we'll start out there in your home with kids. Where do you find the time? Um, so first, like creating certain videos, if I need more quiet time, it will just be um, when they're sleeping typically, um, or at least when my two young, because I have a one-year-old, three-year-old, and four-year-old. So mm. two of them still nap during the day. Um, so sometimes during nap times, but during like direct messaging, um, and I'm sending a voice text, I'll just do it with my kids next to me. I, you know, afterwards I will sometimes send a quick, sorry, my kids were not having it, you know, but that's why I love this. Like I'm doing it with my kids next to me. Like even sometimes send a video, like, cause sometimes my kids have like climbed up on me and attacked me while I'm like sitting here recording something. I'm like, yep, that was the noise you heard. Like my kid just wants to be on, on my lap. So, and they appreciate that. They're like, I totally understand. Like I'm a mom as well, or I'm a dad. So it's, so it's okay to, you know, not have this perfect, like, here I am. I'm like a robot. No, like be yourself. Like just, you know, tell the truth, be yourself, connect. I love that. Shelby, that is gold. That's platinum. That's diamonds. That's, that's the whole shebang. Well, listen, I know you are a busy stay at home mom. So let's wrap this up and let you get back to your, your, your regular life. And thank you for taking the time to come on this morning. It's been in my technical issues there at the beginning. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not in my normal right. spot, but it worked out like it always does. I say that just goes in the beginning. You're going to struggle with technical stuff. It just goes back. Like find a way you'll, you'll find it. You will. You will. Every, everybody struggles and, and everybody has technical issues. Even to this day, um, there's more stuff that I don't know than, than I do know, you know, I mean, because there's new stuff coming out all the time. Um, so, all right, Shelby, we'll share your link, Mom Boss Income. It's been up on the screen. Go and follow her, support her, learn from her. And Shelby, come back and see me here in a couple of months and All update right. us on your journey, okay? Yeah, I'll see you soon. All right, cool. Peace. All right, All right my friends, uh, that is it. And that is a wrap. Uh, go and follow Shelby. Like I said, she's on TikTok and Instagram at Mom Boss Income sounds spells just like it sounds mom boss income all right my friends and finish that challenge this is my challenge to all of you is that if you're going through the challenge right now finish it complete it make that the end goal that is the goal is to finish what i started don't get distracted with goals and all this other kind of big stuff that you're going to achieve in the future finish what you started. If you went and signed up for the blueprints, congratulations, put on your seatbelt. It's going to be an amazing journey. And if you're starting with affiliate marketing, get in there, go through that a 10 decade in a day, which we, we onboard you and show you exactly what to do. And your BPA will explain it too, right? Go through that blueprint, absorb that information absorb that knowledge so you know how to do this and you'll thank yourself for taking the time to be able to do it to get started in the right direction first instead of like phil Kol kohlberger explained to me this weekend like most of us men do we buy the product and don't want to read the instruction manual well my friends this is an instruction manual so make sure that you read it and meet us back here tomorrow for another episode. All right. Be legendary, my friends. Thank you so much. Get out of here.